And now we're ready to go on to the simulation. And it says run sim. In this lesson, you will develop a schedule that gets you to work on time while keeping you healthy. Click Reports, Health to monitor your health. Look on the top right. These are your main menus. Reports is the one to the very right. And Health is the second one down. What I'm going to do is I'm going to um, grab this uh, by the top gray bar. I'm left clicking and I'm just dragging it over to the left hand or the right hand bottom side just to kind of get it out of the way. Notice that you started with $50,000 net worth. Since you don't owe any debt, that's actually cash that you have in your checking. All right. We're going to click Run To. If you look up to the top left, um, I don't ever use the start button because that can kind of get out of control, um, especially if you run it fast like I do. You always use the run to button and you can control on when it stops. So run to January 14th. Okay, we just ran... Um, our person to January 14th and it asked us which health factor is the lowest it was nutrition so now what we're going to do um, at the bottom of your instructions when you're done with this set of instructions you go down to the very bottom of the column and click next step two you will need to eat twice a day, several hours apart. Eating for more than a half hour at a time causes you to consume more food but will not improve nutrition. Click on Next. Click Actions, which is another one of your menus, and Schedule. The schedule is actually what tells your person what to do. Um, notice mine already has um, eating um, in the morning. Yours does not. I accidentally have worked ahead and didn't notice that my, um, my recording had stopped, so I have to go back. Um, but what I'm going to have you do is click the weekday plus task. So the left side is your weekday, Monday through Friday. Click plus task and eat. You're going to put a start time of 6 a.m. and then an end time of 6.30 a.m. You're going to press OK. I'm going to press cancel since I'm already got that there. Using the plus task button for the weekend schedule, the weekend is on the right, do uh, Saturday and Sunday. I don't know why anybody would want to wake up at 6 o'clock on Saturday and Sunday, but that's okay. So you're going to push your plus task, eat, again, enter 6 a.m., and at... 6 a.m. or 6.30 a.m. I'm sorry. And then you're going to press OK. Um, I pressed cancel or I must have pressed off of it. Notice that you now both have your eating in the morning. Before you go on, what I would like for you to do, you might notice in the evening 
that you're eating for an hour. Um, the eating for an hour not only doesn't improve your nutrition, it makes you go through food faster and the food's very expensive. So what I'm going to have you do is to click on your um, eat in the evening on weekday and instead of 6 30 p.m i'm going to have you put your end time at 6 p.m and then click ok i'm going to have you repeat for the weekend curse or put your cursor over eat click and then change your end time from 6 30 to 6 p.m go ahead and close the schedule window and then go to next step number four click the run to button up in the top left and select January 15th which is the day that we're on observe the status of your health factors how did this change your nutrition level it turned red. This happened because you are out of food. Um, down below here is what is called your status bar at the very bottom. Your health is at 9%. You are very close to dying. Your food, you have no meals and you have 26 bus tokens which by the way the blue things stacked on your credenza by your front door those are your bus tokens so you are out of food in the status bar fortunately you have plenty of money in checking to buy food notice your net worth has even gone up because you have a job and you've probably gotten paid. Fortunately, you have oh, plenty of money in checking. Click View City. So you're going to click on View City. To switch to the city view. Click Actions. Again, one of your menus. And Shop. These are the stores in the city. Notice that all of the little letters here, that's where they're found in your city here. I'm going to press next to go to step six. Locate supermarket in the list. Oops, I got to go back. Locate supermarket in the list and click shop here. It's a little ways down. There it is shop here to keep your nutrition level up you must eat two meals per day let's purchase an amount that will last a while under quantity enter 140. click checkout and pay use the debit card and then you also need to click on the debit card to finalize your transaction. Observe that you now have 140 meals by food in your status bar. Go to next. Now that you have meals to eat, click the run to button and select January 25th. Let the simulation run until it stops. How did this change your nutrition level? Yay, it turned green. And your health is finally moving up there. Use the health window to gauge if your basic needs are being met throughout the simulation. What is your new lowest health factor? It is exercise. It's in the yellow. Next. Sometimes increasing the duration of a task 
can raise the related health factor. Click Actions, Schedule, Actions, Schedule. Click on the Weekday Exercise Task Exercise. So put your cursor over Exercise, click it, and increase the end time by half an hour. So instead of 7.30, we're going to make it 8 p.m. And then press OK. Repeat this process for the weekday relaxation task, or relaxation tax, task relax as well. So um, instead of 9, we're going to make it 9.30 p.m. We're going to click OK, then click the Close button. Notice that the weekend already has those made longer. Click the Close button. Now we're going to click on Next, Step 10. Click the Run To button and select January 29th. How did changing the duration of the tasks affect your health? Well, relaxation turned to green and exercise increased but stayed yellow. Notice your health is still not, not real good, but it's moving up there. Owning certain possessions will let you exercise and relax more efficiently, freeing up time for other activities. Click Actions, Shop. So we're going to go over to Actions, Shop, and we're going to look for Howard's Department Store and click Shop here. Now it's very important that you buy all three things. If you don't buy all three things, then you'll never pass meet your goal in this um, simulation. So make sure you follow all of these directions. It says locate any style of living room set and under quantity enter one. Remember you have, well, I guess you still have $49,000 here because we bought food. I forgot about that. Okay, we have 49,000 we can spend. I think I'm gonna buy that pretty red one, but you can buy whichever one you want. Okay, do the same for the 20 inch LED TV. So one of those and the treadmill. Once you have all three of those, you're going to check out and pay using your debit card and then clicking again to finalize your payments. The next thing that I want you to do, it doesn't tell you to do this, but I want you to, um, I want to show you how to click back into your apartment. Um, your apartment is marked by the H for a home, and you're going to click on that building. And that takes you back into your, um, inside your apartment. So now you can make sure that you got all the things you ordered. So here's my living room set, my TV, and my treadmill is in my bedroom. Okay. All right, next. Click the Run To button and select February 5th. How are your health factors related? Relaxation and exercise increased to full grain. In addition to keeping track of your health, you should also watch for important messages using the Message Center. Click Reports, Messages. Messages is clear down at the bottom almost. And let's read here real quickly. You are out of bus tokens. You had to walk, buy some tokens at any bus stop. You were 62 minutes late to work yesterday. Check your travel schedule. You need to allow more time to travel or use faster transportation. What happens if you're late too often? You'll lose your job. 
and then you have to start your um, sim all over again. So you are out of bus tokens and you were late for work because you had you had to walk. So let's go to next. Not good. If you're late for work too often, you may lose your job. Observe that you have zero tokens next to bus in the status bar. Oops, I went too far there. When you run out of tokens, you'll walk instead, but you may be late depending on the distance and your schedule. Let's buy more bus tokens so we can get to work on time. Click on Actions, Shop, and the bus place is at the very bottom. Um, and it asks us to buy 40, which isn't very many. I always use your debit card. Okay, and we've done that. So this final step is um, our goal. And um, it says we're going to run our simulation until August 1st without becoming sick, losing our job, or passing away. This means we will have to continue to buy food and bus tokens in order to meet the goal. So we're going to run this to August 1st. I will show you my trick real quick here. Um, I am going to shop. And buy like 350 meals. With my debit card. And also shop for bus tokens okay we're shopping for our bus tokens next and i think i'll buy about 300 of those check out with my debit card and finalize the purchase okay so we're in february this is where you can tell where we're at february 5th 2027 and um, what I like to do is run it one or two months at a time. I know I'm pretty safe with as much food and bus tokens that I have, and my health is really good, but I just want to make sure that um, everything goes well. So I'm just going to forward ahead to April 1st, make sure everything looks good, health looks good, we're up to 100%. We still have plenty of meals, plenty of bus tokens. So we're going to run it ahead until May, June 1st. Still plenty of uh, food and bus tokens, great health. And then finally, Let's go to August, and I'm going to do it to August 2nd, because it said at least to August 1st. Okay, this is what I want you to have. Um, I want you to always see this goal complete. Congratulations, you have met your goal. Your assignment has been saved. Okay, and then all you have to do is close SIM. I do not want you guys to submit your SIM. I want you to complete your goal. Okay. Um, if you are not, if your goal is not um, being reached like you think it should be, that's a question for me. And I am always uh, more than happy to answer your questions. All right. So um, thanks for listening. I hope this helped you guys. Have a great day.